Welcome to Save Your Sanity, help for handling hijackles, those difficult, toxic, and often disturbing people in your life. I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler, the Relationship Help Doctor, and I'm here for you. You'll get the insight, skills, strategies, and support to stop tolerating verbal and emotional abuse, whether it's happening now or it happened to you in the past, maybe by a parent, partner, ex, relative, or even a coworker. Time to take life back, to recover and to rediscover you, your values, dreams, desires, and realize them in healthy ways in healthy relationships. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, I'm glad you're here. I hope that you have been listening to episodes that are helping you handle the hijackles in your life. Those relentlessly difficult people who like to hijack relationships for their own purposes and then scavenge them daily, frequently, for power, status, and control. That may be you're with a narcissist, someone with narcissistic tendencies, or psychopathic, or antisocial, or... Uh, histrionic tendencies, all of these things you really need to understand. They'll wear you out and wear you down and eventually you'll just be cast aside. Whether you're physically left or you're not, it doesn't matter. You're going to be exhausted. And today I want to talk to you about how to stop walking on those eggshells. That is really poor exercise. That is no way to get your exercise walking on eggshells. And I want to help you put an end to that. I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler, the Relationship Help Doctor. And I offer you so many ways to get new insights into what's going on and how to heal from what has gone on. Whether you have loved, are loving, living with, have lived with, left or were raised by someone with hijackal traits, patterns, and cycles, you need to see them clearly because then and only then will you recognize their effect on your life. And so I have taken my groups off Facebook. I've put them on my website so that you could be absolutely safe. So there is no question that anyone can even see who is a member of my groups unless they are a member. And I'm very careful who gets to be a member. So if that interests you, if you want answers, uh, you want to be able to talk with me directly and online, and you want to be getting the support or tell your story or find what you need and learn for sure that you're not alone, go to 4, F-O-R, Relationship Help, H-E-L-P dot com slash E-S as in Sam, C as in Charlie. ESC that stands for Emotional Savvy Circle and I'm inviting you to be part of my Emotional Savvy Circle. So go to 4relationshiphelp.com slash ESC. Today it's all about stopping walking on those eggshells and you might recognize that you are or have been walking on eggshells. Maybe you're still always looking over your shoulder. That'll cause you to never feel good enough. And that's not okay. These difficult people that I call hijackles, they want you to be pussyfooting around their egos and their wants and their power and their control needs. They want you to be giving, giving, giving. And oh, they want you to expect nothing from them either. You're just there to meet their needs for power, status, and control. Does that sound familiar to you? then yes, you know that you want to and you need to stop walking on those eggshells. Why? Well, because it never works. It especially never works for you. It always only works for the hijackal. And you deserve to have honesty, respect, trust, safety, and reliability in your life. You know, those are the five relational gifts that I talk about in my book, Kaizen for Couples. K-A-I-Z-E-N for couples. And none of that comes from being with a toxic person. Because toxic people are those with toxic behaviors. And what do they do? Oh, they love to create drama in most relationships, especially the ones at home. They like to be surrounded by drama, especially if they created it. 
They have a definite need to manipulate people and circumstances to get only what feeds them. So therefore, they need to be in control at all times of you, of other people, of situations, of expectations. And in the midst of that, they want to be at the center. And it doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative attention. They want to be the center of attention. And they will use other people to meet their needs. No question. You've probably been used, right? You know what I'm talking about. They love to criticize others, to find fault and tear them down, especially the people closest to them, especially the ones they say they particularly love. And these hijackals are jealous of anything that seems like another person's success because it immediately seems like a failure to them. So therefore, they have to tear that down too. And they're going to complain and whine and moan that life is not going their way. So they can also be constantly in victim mode. Extremely tiring. Sometimes they use alcohol and drugs to mask their fear of not being perfect and in control. And that creates a whole other set of problems. And on the other side, they may think they're perfect and therefore they never need any help. So, wow, now does it sound like somebody in your life? It could be your parent, your partner, your ex, a teenager or a coworker. It may be in the past, it may be in the present that that person's behavior can still be taking a toll on your life and your relationships. So what do I hear in my practice? Oh, but I love him or her. I love him or her so much. I can't imagine life without them. It's like I'm addicted. Well, you likely are. You're addicted to drama. When Charles and I wrote the book, Soul Solitude, Taking Time for Our Souls to Catch Up, one of the big issues we discussed in there was people's addiction to drama. And you may be addicted to drama. So go out and look on Amazon for the book, Soul Solitude, and read about that. Get some insights. You don't want to be addicted to drama. That's what's causing all the ups and downs in your life. And it, you want to take back your life for sure. So you, if, if you have a hijackle in your life, you may have become addicted to that drama. Even if you say you don't want to be, you may be. So it's good to stop walking on those fragile egos. I mean, eggshells. <laughs> and you want to be stepping onto solid ground. Why are you addicted? That's simple, but it's not so easy. It's because you value their love for you over your own love of yourself. You know, big mic drop right there. It's true. You may not want it to be true, but it is. You value their love for you over your own love of yourself. So how to stop walking on eggshells? I'm going to give you four ways today, although there are many more, and you can find much of this on my YouTube channel for Relationship Help or in other broadcast episodes, so be sure to have a look, but I'm going to give you four ways to stop walking on eggshells today. Number one, recognize the anxiety and stress you feel and that it's caused by someone else's demands. That anxiety and stress you feel is being caused by someone else's demands or expectations of you. Hijackals love to blame you for everything. If that hijackal, if she or he is unhappy, it's always because you did or didn't do something. If he or she is even fired, it's because you're too demanding wanting the children to be fed. It's that absurd. Yet, until you see the pattern, you'll be in the cycle with them. And you've got to be able to step out of it. So these hijackals are making demands and you're afraid you're not going to meet them. You're afraid you're going to come up short and that keeps you in anxiety and stress. So number one, recognize that anxiety and stress and then recognize the cycle that you've stepped into and start to step out of it. Number two is realizing that you're allowing all that to be so. I know it sounds tough and it means like, why is it my problem? Well, it is. 
this is the hard part. Don't beat yourself up, not for a moment. Just see that you are not saying no to those behaviors yet. And then start saying no by setting boundaries. I've done other episodes on setting boundaries, so find those, listen to them. You start saying no by setting boundaries out loud to the person. You don't have to be demanding or aggressive, especially at first, but just say something like this. No, that doesn't work for me. What would work for me is this. Then you're giving someone a suggestion, but you're also setting the boundary. No, that doesn't work for me. Now, the hijackal may not care, but what is important is you have started stepping up. And then if that person will not respect your stated boundary, then you may have to add a consequence. Sounds like this. No, that doesn't work for me. What would work for me is this. However, I've mentioned this a few times and nothing has changed. The next time this happens, I will end the conversation and walk out of the room. So you see how you add a consequence after a few times of expressing your boundary and your preferences. And that's how you begin to set those boundaries. If it's new to you, you'll have to practice with everyone in your life to get comfortable with it. But it is absolutely worth doing. So number one, recognize the anxiety and stress you feel that is caused by a hijackal's expectations and demands. Number two, realize that you're allowing that to be so and you can change it. Now number three, is recover your self-esteem and self-confidence. Oh, what a short sentence for a big job, right? But you deserve to be treated with respect. You deserve to experience honesty and safety, trust and reliability in your relationship with another adult. You have to believe that though, right down to your toes, that you deserve it. To be self-confident, you have to believe you deserve to take up space and draw breath. That's the first step. And then you have to believe that what you think, feel, need, and want is important to be able to express in any relationship and to be respected for it. And so that takes a little bit of work many times because the hijackal has already worn you down and torn you down. And now you you want to step up. You want to feel good. You want to feel equal. You want to feel self-confident. And you have to come back to the place where you believe that you deserve to be treated well. That may be a bit of a journey if you've been with a hijackal for a long time, or especially if you were raised by one. If you were raised by one, be sure to go back and listen to the episodes. Um, Listen to the one that's about 12 lies your narcissistic mother told you about who you are. That's the foundation of what a hijackal can do to you if you were raised by one. So number three, start the journey of recovering your self-esteem and your self-confidence. And number four is make a big decision. Determine to never be hijackal bait again. And that means you want to be sure that you take all the steps and you heal all the things and you get some help to understand why hijackals have been attractive to you and why they like you so much and why you have taken them into your life. And if you're hijackal bait, that usually means that you have been raised to be that And you need to really understand that because hijackals go around looking for people pleasers and potential doormats. So you got to step right up and say, no way. I may yet recognize that I have some people pleasing behaviors. I mean, everybody does when you're a child. You have to. You have to please those giants so that they'll feed you and they'll like you enough to be kind to you. At least you hope that. Well, if you had a hijackal parent, of course, you're never going to be good enough for them to be kind to you. But that will make you into a people pleaser if you're not careful because you'll think that your life is determined by what other people want. And if you give it to them, then they'll like you more. And pretty soon you almost don't exist. So you don't want to be a people pleaser or a doormat for anybody. And now once you get your self-esteem restored and your self-confidence regained, 
you'll be better able to sense the energy of someone who wants to use you. And that's what hijackles do. They want to use you. They want to have you turn yourself into a pretzel to please them and then run. So four things, recognize the anxiety and express uh, stress rather you feel and that it's caused by living up to someone else's expectations or demands. Number two, realize that you're allowing it to be so, you're enabling it, and so it's time to stop that. Number three, you've got to do all the work you need to do to recover your self-esteem and your self-confidence. And number four, get help so that you will never be hijackal bait again. Okay, these are really big deals today. I understand that. I, I know that in a short episode, giving out a list like this is a life work, it feels like. And it is. So you need help to do that. I'm always here to help you. You know, we can talk. You can become a part of the group I mentioned earlier. Become a part of my emotional savvy circle. Just go to forrelationshiphelp.com slash ESC. Forrelationshiphelp.com slash ESC. Get into the groups. There are two levels you can get into. Get into the $5 a month level. Very simple. You get into the group. You can have all the interaction you want. And you get my 21 steps to empowered emotional savvy delivered to your email over 46 days. It's a whole course. You want that for only $5 a month. A, a latte. Wow. And then if you want the $15 a month program, then you get a once a month group ask me anything call where you can come on and we'll talk through the issues that you have. And it's a really good time to be part of that because all of this is just starting. So your chances of having direct interaction and asking me your questions are really high. So get in there. Again, go to forrelationshiphelp.com slash E for emotional S for savvy and C for circle for emotion for relationship help.com slash ESC. I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler. I've been helping people for more than 30 years fix these problems with these difficult people and I want to help you. So again, visit me at for relationship help.com. Go to my YouTube channel. You guessed it. It's called for relationship help and you can find me. I look forward to it. If you're ready to work with me privately, go to forrelationshiphelp.com slash join. You can have an introductory one hour full session for only $97. I'm here for you. I've been there, done that, lived with the hijackles, raised by the hijackles, co-parented and divorced a hijackal. I've been the whole journey and I know what it takes and I know what fixes it. So I wish you really well and let's talk soon. Take care. I'm so glad you spent this time with me today. I hope you heard something that touched your heart and empowered you to move forward. You can have the life and relationships that you most want, and that begins with you within you today. I'm always here for you. Life can get better, and you heard that from me, the Relationship Help Doctor. I'm Roberta Shaler, and I work with clients throughout the world through video conferencing. We can talk. So learn more at forrelationshiphelp.com, F-O-R relationship, H-E-L-P.com, or visit me on YouTube at 4 Relationship Help. Join me for next week's show.